Philanthus seeds that I saved from last year from my garden. Planting those, also known as the toothache plant. Used a lot of that this year. So I have my little basket of seeds. Right now my cute little woven one is being used by oils. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spread a bunch of seed because I can and I want to. There's broccoli growing in a random dirt pile. It's weird. So I am done with the potatoes, with the pumpkins, with my pepper plants, with my tomatoes, with, you know, most of the really big things in the garden. And at this point, this is all that I have left. Just random seeds to go in random places. However I feel, I'm a really big on doing intuitive gardening. And I think it's worked out pretty well for me so far. I do have some little tiny seedlings that I do want to plant. And those are just flowers again, things like hollyhocks and pansies and stuff like that. But I'm out here and I have put my potatoes in and as I was scraping away the straw to remake my potato beds, there's all this fresh dirt available and I can't have fresh dirt without putting seeds, especially out here in the field. So I am here to spread some seed. So I got a seed packet from Southern Seed Exchange and I ordered two packets of 50 seeds of Jupiter's Beard. And um, I just absolutely love Jupiter's Beard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sow one of the packets of seeds out here in this dirt. And apparently it self sows pretty easily. So that's fabulous. So I'm going to uh, spread the seed out here and then I'm gonna spread some by the lavender hill in that, that, um, that wildflower area, the wayside kind of thing, because I think that red with purple is stunning. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I've got my seeds, okay. Uh, I might spread some sunflowers out here too, and then some other flowers. I'm just gonna spread some seeds. It is all chillaxed gardening at this point. I still want to put some stuff in my garden as far as like another rotation of beets, and I'm gonna start some onions, and I got a bunch more peanuts that I can plant, and um, I think a few of the beans that I planted. Um, aren't doing anything. Maybe they were too old or, or maybe they just, they weren't good for germinating where I wanted them to. And so I have extra beans that I'm really, probably gonna plant. I have a bunch of beans popping up. That is not to say I don't have a lot of beans, but uh, we loved, we, we love canned beans in our family. And so I wanna have a lot of canned beans. Hey, Bella. And I want to have a lot of those so that we can have them all winter long until we start getting new green beans in the summer again. So Jupiter's beard is going in the ground right now. So I put the seeds on the ground 
and then I stomped on them. I didn't really cover them up with dirt because most of the things that I just planted need uh, light to germinate and so they don't want to be covered. Um, I put some more clover in there. I put a little bit of uh, marigold. We'll see how that does. But I planted that area with seeds in March and they're all like wildflower seeds and things that you'd want to have in a field. And I think they just didn't germinate because they were covered up with straw. But now that the dirt is exposed, I'm pretty sure that we're going to get some good germination. Uh, they'll pop in. Everything I planted before will start popping in. That's just how it works. Especially with things like wildflowers. This is exciting. Let me show you this. Do you see this coming up? And it's coming up right here. It's passion flower. I'm very excited. I have passion flower growing in the corner or down on the ground right there as well. Passion fruit is delicious. Like really, really, really delicious. And we got some really great fruit off, of, fruit off of it last year. So I'm excited to get some of that fruit this year. Okay, well, uh, my girls just harvested the chamomile for the fifth time already. I mean, we're mid-May. And we already got five harvests of chamomile. It's just delightful. I'm so excited. Um, we'll see how long it can keep up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plant some bush beans. I'm going to plant some um, uh, red, purple noodle beans on the trellises. You can see that I've already got some that are coming up. Right down here. Um, but I want to plant more. And I really like the purple noodle bean. Like a lot, a lot. And so I want to have a bunch of that. And I'll plant some peanuts in here. And I'll plant some beets. And uh, after this, then I'm going to go up into where the chicken enclosure is. And I'm going to plant... I'm going to just strew out a bunch of fava beans and then I'm also going to plant uh, clover up there as well because those are all really good um, cover crops and uh, good foraging food for chickens. So I want them to be happy. I want them to have lots of different kinds of food that they can eat. Um, they don't have as much grass up there as they did out here and so I'm just going to give them some stuff that they'll like. Okay. This is so much fun. This is so nice. Not stressing about whether or not I'm getting the pumpkins in. Not stressing about whether or not the potatoes are going in. And I planted the pumpkins, to, or the potatoes today. And it is hot and it is humid. And I was sweating and the bugs were out and the straw was going everywhere. And I'm dirty and I am very excited about cleaning up tonight. Tomorrow is hair oil day. I'm very excited about that. We're going to have like a girl's day and get get all cleaned up and tonight I'll put on my face mask and just feel clean again and not sticky and in the meantime I'm gonna plant some flowers planting these peanuts in my garden and I'm very excited about it because I love peanuts and um, these are called Fasti, Fasti Giada pinstripe peanuts and you can see how beautiful they are they're almost like a burgundy zebra striped situation and they love sandy soil if you're gonna plant peanuts plant it in sandy soil and make sure that you have a long enough growing season. This is about 120 days and, and we got that. We're good to go. 
think like as long as it takes for like a pumpkin to grow, right? Um, the gardens up here, when I first uh, kind of started taking care of this instead of my mother-in-law, um, but she's, she's retired now and she's taking care of it too now, which is really nice being able to garden with someone. I, I enjoy that so much. Uh, but uh, before she was retired, this was kind of my responsibility. I put in these these cinder block, be cinder block beds. Uh, the uh, this long herb garden right here that you can't see, but it's there. And then there's blueberries right there. She she had those, and she was doing really good taking care of those because uh, the the blueberries were like her top priority, and they still kind of are. I mean, she loves her blueberries. I don't blame her. I love blueberries too. Um, but I added these beds to what was just grass. And this is the sandy soil I've ever experienced in my life. I mean, we might as well be at the beach. It's because we're on top of a mountain and all the good stuff goes down into the valley. <sighs> Erosion and whatnot. So this is really good sandy soil. And since this is so sandy uh, and I have amended with compost and, and, and manure and leaf mold and everything, the beds that are down in, in the main vegetable garden, uh, we use this kind of like as a medicinal herb garden because herbs really love sandy soil, right? But, um, and so if you put things like you know, corn and sandy soil, it's not going to do as good as it would, you know, in a really composted, heavy nutrient dense soil. And so this is just kind of left for herbs and things that do well in sand. And I just happen to have peanuts that do really well in sand. So uh, I'm going to plant that intermittently between my California poppy and then a few of the other places. I'm just going to kind of spread it around. So I got these at Baker Creek Seeds. Good stuff if you ever want to try uh, peanuts, try them, they're delicious. So it is finally raining and the seeds just got in and so I am going in as well. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Hit the like button, subscribe, notification, all those things. That'd be really great. And again, thank you. Stay blessed. Mm -hmm.